hello guys welcome to another video on my youtube channel today i'm gonna tell you that how to enable um amd fsr 3 frame generation in call of duty black ops 6 now as you see i'm on i'm in the settings in the quality section over here upscaling sharpening method is selected amd fsr 3 if i uh, do that uh, show more and uh, it's on the quality of whatever but we don't see any uh, option for the um, uh, frame generation option over here uh, moreover not even in the display section I'm gonna hit apply all right nothing over here as well okay now what's the fix for it uh, there's an there's a fix for it people say that just go to the uh, campaign mode and uh, over there in, th in those settings in this campaign mode go to the campaign mode and uh, in those settings there's a uh, uh, in the quality section in the same thing uh, there's op there is an option uh, for the uh, AMD frame generation with the uh, AMD FSR 3 so you can do it if you don't have the campaign mode or if you don't want to go there or mess around over there if you have only multiplayer dlc installed then let's let's do it uh i'm hitting the window button but uh i'm just closing the game right now quit quit your desktop please so okay go to the uh file explorer then open the oh, documents folder go to the call of duty folder go to the players and then after that go to this file s.1.0.card22. oh sorry 24. txt uh, that card double click on it open it okay now here there's the thing okay control press control f and uh, over here search for uh, interpolation if you can't find anything over here like that can cannot find interpolation press ok cancel it you'll have to find it manually okay okay I'm heading down there will be in the graphics section where are you bro that's the graphics section okay AMD 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 there's the Nvidia DLSS frame generation that's on the false I have uh, AMD GPU so that's mm, that makes no sense to make it on true so I'm heading up 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 I was here now I am here in the middle of the uh, notepad well here, here it is activate FSR 3 frame interpolation if you see uh, if you google it uh, what does mean uh, interpolation interpolation mean the insertion of something of a different nature into something else that's that's the frame generation okay uh, I, I have uh, turned it on true uh, it will it will be uh, on your PC in your case here it would, uh, here it would be false you'll have to just uh, uh, erase it and type true in it S with small letters okay now uh, after uh, uh, typing here true sh uh, bef uh, before closing if you close it uh, remember to save it okay otherwise your save uh, it uh, these settings won't be saved okay save it okay all right the next thing over here the open the notepad notepad is will be here and ote pad just notepad open the notepad i have already opened it opened it uh step it aside now we open this this uh, uh, this uh, file now we will open this uh, click and drag to the notepad now the same thing over here as well go there go there go there go there in the middle it was in the middle amd amd fsr3 interpolation is um, set it on the true as well control s or just uh, close it and uh, hit save button 
and after that again open the notepad and go to the the next uh, txt uh, one file and uh, open it by dragging and uh, uh, dragging to the notepad uh come come on come on come on come on come on where are you oh my god where are you sorry it was in the middle so it's in here activate fsr3 frame interpol interpolation there's the uh, hit over here the true and uh, type true over here and uh, uh close it and uh, save it it will say uh, ask for saving and uh, more than you can launch the game uh, after that launching this game you will not see any uh, like I am showing you there won't be any option for the frame uh, in, uh, in the interface of the game uh, in the settings there won't be any option again but it will be turned on so moreover the main difference what's the difference between the fidelity cas uh, i mean not the difference uh, the performance difference i'm, I'm gonna tell you uh, i have checked the both uh, amd fsr3 without uh, uh, turning on the uh, this shit uh, uh, frame generation thing it was less fps and then i uh, switched to, to the amd F uh, fsr3 interpolation with the frame generation it wasn't uh, giving good fps as well there wasn't um, uh, much difference it was uh, only like uh, 20 to 30 fps only but when i switched to uh, fidelity cas with a turned on with the md fsr3 uh, i think it, it uh, just uh, turns off itself in the game but i have uh, turned it on in the uh, in that file true so if i play with that fidelity cas then it uh, uh gives much more performance in that that's uh, really great uh, like uh, it gives me uh, uh 70 to 80 fps above above average uh, that was great insane that's insane N nowadays uh, i have uh, uh, fixed my clients fps issues that was uh, incredibly insane when i uh, went to their uh, nvidia nvidia graphics uh, sorry not here play the i was uh, imagining if uh, uh, nvidia image scaling w will higher their uh, frame gen uh, frames but it w it w it couldn't i just uh, uh, did something in the uh, nvidia control panel and then uh, switched it back to back to the fidelity cs and it was 40 plus fps oh that was insane fidelity cs on 50 percent it was great and uh, he he had only um, uh, gtx 1060 well uh, and i'm gonna show you here that there is there isn't any option for the uh, turning on or off so it is turned on amd uh, fsr uh, 3 frame generation is already turned on now so though now you can play your games etc i think that's enough for today this video thanks for watching guys bye bye